Uh, hey there, this is Atul from Team K29 Academy. And in this video, we're going to look at how to deploy the foundation models that are available out of the box uh, on Microsoft Azure OpenAI's um, service. And we're going to do it from the studio console, but you can do it from the uh, command line as well. But in this lab, we're going to do it from the uh, from the console. But in future labs, we probably might be doing them from a command line as well, uh, uh, so that you understand all those things. So what is the foundation model? We'll cover these in detail. But these are uh, foundation models are large scale uh, machine learning models that are pre-trained on extensive data on internet scale data which are available and are adapted for wide variety of uses like text chat playground or chat ones for uh, asking any questions you might have heard or seen or chat gpt or for image a lot of other advanced things that we'll move forward and then we'll see a little bit later so and you can read further on this as i said earlier there are multiple ways to deploy these models and later in the future subsequent labs we are going to uh, actually use those uh, models so it's good to know we are building step by step so in the previous um, lab we actually created as a as your open ai uh, resource and we looked at the studio i'll probably walk you through a little bit more here now but first we're going to deploy these models and then we are going to use in future labs these models as well now let's like any other lab this is going to be the format of our um, labs. So first we're going to talk about this introduction that you're looking at here right now and I'm going to go a little bit deeper. Then we're looking at some concepts studio, which I've showed you earlier when we created Azure OpenAI, but I'll show it to you here again. We'll create a quickly, I'll click create one more open studio just to show you if just a quick recap. And then when we open it opens up a studio and in that studio you have two ways to work on that basically as your open air service or multiple ways i'm just there's a rest uh, api there's a uh, graphical user interface console there's a cli um, and few other methods which we'll be talking about then we're going to deploy these models one is gpt 3 3.5 turbo 16k and 16k k are these contexts which we'll talk about that a little bit later uh, then we have gpt 3.5 there's a 3. Uh, there's a 4 as well version and in future by the time you're watching that there might be some new ones and we might update this uh, guided video uh, here then also there's a delhi uh, which is basically the image creation where you create give the context and it'll create images for you now we are going to do there's two concepts there's a concept of base model and a fine-tuned model we'll cover that um, when the so base model is a model which comes out of the box which is pre-trained by in this case microsoft depending on where this um, foundation model who is basically who created these foundation models and then your fine-tuned models are we pick up and add our own custom things on those model which is fine-tuned model that you see now Chapter number three is going to be about documentation link that we have used to refer to this guide. And if you do go deeper, you can refer to these uh, documentation link as well. Chapter number four is about prerequisite, then how much is the cost, which is free of, there's no cost of actually deploying the models, which we'll see that as well. But there are charges are based on the users, which we'll see. Then we're going to deploy the model on here. So initially I was thinking of doing this model deployment using both uh, console, GUI and command line, but I thought probably it could be confusing for someone who's new and not used uh, Azure uh, to explain them about command line. So we'll cover that command line a little bit later. I did it in the first one and I got a lot of uh, uh, like, you know, queries and confusion. So I thought probably let's first do everything from GUI, graphical user interface, and then we'll do it from command line once we explain the command line parts as well in Microsoft Azure. So we'll create, use, deploy a GPT, 3.5 turbo 16k will daily as well as then gpt 3.5 turbo um, on and then finally we'll share our learning and then actually delete these resources you can keep them but otherwise if you want you can keep them or you can delete them as well now as i said earlier so as your open ai studio as we created as your open ai that we service we created it will give you an access to access that azure open ai service through a studio and so we you can do it from a portal which we're going to see today here but you can also do using apis uh, as your api and there are rest apis as well that will be available and so that you can using these models we can deploy these models and uh, and use them in future that's what we're going to do uh, here as well now key concept i've already mentioned studio command line and uh, then these are the different models and why you use them. You can further read out these. And as I said, these new models keep coming. The models are being updated. So we'll see that as we move forward here. Uh, so Delhi and all those read on these models as well as the base model and fine-tuned model. It's worth reading this document. Now, 
how to deploy the Azure OpenA service. This is, I think, pretty straightforward. When you go into the documentation, you'll be quite easy to find. But then also the CLI for deploying these resources, which you probably might be seeing in future um, as we move forward. So creating and deploy a resource, you can do it from portal. You can do it from a command line interface CLI, and you can, which is like these commands uh, which you see here, um, or you can also create using PowerShell. Uh, this is another method PowerShell as well. You'll see to manage these. Also, uh, the command line is, is here CLI, which a little bit explanation of these parameters that we use. As I said, we're going to focus on more about is uh, the GUI for now, but uh, you can, if you want to go further, you can read there. Now, prerequisite is you should already have created Azure OpenAI resource service. And where is that? You click on this link, it will open a new window, and it will be the first lab or lab prior to this, which will have all the step by step instructions and a video through video. And then prerequisite for that is you have a free or paid. It doesn't need to be just free. It can be free or paid. I'll update this link here. Or you create as your open air resource. This is how you do it. I've explained both GUI and CLI as well. So that's prerequisite you should have. For now, I'm just going to show it to you because I deleted that. If you've deleted that as well, you can you can come and create again here. Now, uh, and then you can keep those uh, of zero PNI service. There's no charge for that and there's no cost for uh, just deploying the model but how do you use that is where the charge will be so cost to perform there's no charge for performing this lab and keep it keep it running but then charges on azure are typically when you use a service there are two typical charges one is actual provisioning time provisioning of resource and then uses of resource so in this case we are going to first create a resource group there's no charge for creating a resource group then we are going to create azure open ai there's no charge for creating the open ai but the charges for using that and also when you use from command line there's no charge for using command line as well so some services like for example when we do azure kubernetes service actual kubernetes service will have cost but then actually deploying services on kubernetes will not incur any cost uh, so that's just wanted to highlight you so in this case a um, lot of guys ask and even i had this doubt do i get charged um, even just for deploying the model and not using it, which the, the one which we are going to do today, and can I leave it running? So as I said, uh, if you read this documentation or these, so there are two type of charge in Azure, as I said, users based, and then uh, actually the um, resource allocation time. And now because this Azure Open AI service, there's no hidden cost associated to this. Um, but then in users, there's something con 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 concept of tokens which we'll see as we move forward in the program what the tokens are so you basically mainly pay for token so when i'm asking something in the chat gpt or uh, in this case this uh, uh, whatever uh, models that we're using that is called as that basically is tokens through tokens that we'll see that so that those that's where the cost will be but the cost will be so minimal you don't need to worry about and they charge based on uh, you can read the document uh, like the cost or open AI services or how much the pricing includes you can look up for that but it's about basically there's a token based pricing and that too for using the uh, the uh, the models and that two thousand tokens um, it will be very minimal charge but there's no deployment charge for this so you can leave it running as well now how to deploy so first of all make sure that we have azure open ai service then we'll go to the deployment and it's quite straightforward we'll go to this respective model and we'll do it so i'm going to select gpt 35 not 35 3.5 turbo uh, so this is where we were on or maybe you go to the home page and then search for open ai uh, this is already there but we can click here now this is azure ai service which we'll see in future so currently I deleted after creating the previous lab. So I'm going to go and come here and say create Azure OpenAI service resource. And then I'm going to give, uh, I think I'm not going to repeat this because I already done it, but let me create one um, and say K21 dash, um, probably I'm saying Gen AI, Generative AI is the resource group. I'm creating in a East US region. Um, and again, this open AI is not on all the regions. That's only for selective regions. So East US is one of them uh, happens to be. Name is K21 dash um, open AI dash GUI. Graphical user interface upgraded. Pricing prior is standard. You click on content review process because the, I think we covered that. So I'm not going to repeat it. Sorry for that. A network will keep it all network. And I just want to create, leave the default tabs here, and then simply go and create these resources uh, here. 
So click on it's reviewing the process and we create Azure OpenAI service. Again, as I said, this is also already covered in prerequisites. So if you already have, you can skip fast forward this part as well. Once it's done, I'm going to go to the Open Studio and I'll share it with you all the Open Studio that you see. So if you notice here, it's being deployed. So we can go to Azure OpenAI or you can go on Azure OpenAI like this here. And then this, the one which we created just now is here. And this is where it will talk about all the service, basically the service that you see here. So this is the Open Studio, or I can go and click on Open AI Studio as well here. This is where I'm interested on. So it'll open a uh, OAI, open um, Azure Open AI, Open AI dot Azure dot portal is the console or studio, and then there will be whatever is my the resource name um, that I created, that will be my account or we call uh, name deployment name. So K21, I'm in current resources K21 dash Open AI dash GUI. Now, this is where we have all the model catalog. And again, we'll cover that what is um, probably think of model as through which I'm going to leverage or do some task in generative AI. So all the catalog, the it's catalog for that. There are playgrounds, which we'll see that later. There's a chat playground, there's an assistant playground, there's an image playground and completion. What these are, we'll be covering that as well. Now, this is where you have fine tuning. Uh, tools for fine tuning a base model and there's a bad jobs you'll be seeing as well and deployment all those things will cover that this is where we'll come and actually deploy our de or use our deployment so click on deployment here uh, so this is where you go and deploy these models that you see which is a base model now when you're deploying this is an option again i'm using the new uh, now uh, microsoft azure screens keeps updating changing this is the old look and a new look i'm on a new look and I can go and switch by toggling this toggle uh, on to the new uh, old look as well. Now click on here. There's a base model and a fine tuned model. So currently we don't have any uh, fine tuned model we need to uh, register, which will cover that in future how to do that as well. But for now we'll deploy a base model, and this is where it will list down all the models that are available uh, for me to deploy. In this case, I want, I think if I'm not wrong, GPT Thur Turbo 16K, let's see what they are deploying first. So GPT 3.5 30, 30, Turbo 16K. So this is the one which you're deploying. So select this and you can read further about this. Click on confirm and it will tell you also what it's doing. And that's pretty much a um, simple one. Um, it will be, we, we need to, sorry, we need to provide the parameters of this. So. Uh, in parameter name, you can pick off anything of your choice. I usually prefer prefix with K21 in front of that name, uh, etc. as well. So actually K21 dash in front of that K21 dash or maybe depending on the environment, you have a test environment, dev environment, you can change accordingly. Now the model version, you can leave it to the default. Again, we'll cover these models and as we go in the concepts later part, but think of it as your um, application version. And as new changes come, these will be updated here as well. So I'm not doing auto dep uh, update. Uh, we're just doing the default stage to this. Now, deployment type right now standard, so leave it standard. And then these, um, uh, what is, what, how much they can go, how much tokens per minute. Now token is the one which where cost is involved and that's why I'm keeping it to the probably around whatever tokens you can think of or you limit um, the rate of token per minute that's being asked. Now what is content filter, which we'll see there's a next, uh, as name suggests, it filters the content type of questions people can ask, or this prompt you can uh, uh, users can ask, or the response it gives based on. We'll cover that con filtering a little bit later. Also, dynamic quota you can read it here. A deployment to take advantage of variable capacity, which means if capacity increases, uh, it can increase the quota and receive higher throughput. Basically, uh, so we we'll leave it the standard and click on deploy, and that will pretty much deploy my this model, which. In future, I'm going to use that model. If if I need to use this model, I can use that model. And then um, it's ready and I can open and um, go to that playground. So these models will be depending on it could be chat playground, assistant playground, completion playground, or image play playground. Later, we're going to put a dolly and that's where that's an image play playground. How to use them? We'll cover that in future, basically. So that's one model I've deployed. Now I want to do Delhi. So pretty much same. I go to deployments here. And now it's pretty uh, standard now here. So on go to the deployments and then there's one deployed and click again base model. And this time I'm going to select Delhi. Uh, so this is two and there's a three version as well. Again, three one version is a newer version. Let's see what we are deploying here. Base model and I think we had the normal Delhi. Okay. Or three. 
yeah so we'll go for three latest version and click on confirm and i in front of put just a key to name deployment name in front so that uh, you know i know that it's basically i've done or maybe you can use dev test and so on uh, so it's saying available quota for is low for this model uh, in this region you can try to create deployment but you might face issues with the speed of a performance because it probably might be uh, the underlying resources that required are low on this particular uh, region for this particular model now we leave all the things default as i said um, for this right now and uh, we'll come that later as we go move forward uh, i just wanted to give you the very bare minimal right now my objective is always uh, begin small and then keep adding more and more so we'll come up that later on uh, that successfully deployed my delhi as well and we could use that in future uh, another one now next one is about we're deploying one more gpt 3.5 turbo so i'll go and same thing and deploy a base model and gpt 3 turbo this is what i was talking about and click on confirm and we'll give it a name and keep 21 in front of that and it's pretty much standard once you do one doing others are quite quite easy you just need to understand what these uh, parameters mean that's the only thing it's good good to know those parameters um, as well and that will be pretty much uh, done in this and as i said it's worth sharing uh, on your profile on linkedin and as well as uh, if you're sharing LinkedIn, if you're using this guide, please don't copy paste as it is. If you're copying it, at least give credit to Kitten Academy or, or my, uh, add my name here so we can circulate and we can, uh, you know, we can share that whatever you're doing with others so that it increases the your attention and reach to the post that you're doing to grab attention as well. And I'll explain you what all other things you should be doing and why we are doing in community. But let's first go and finish this, my deployment, k 21 dash and then we leave it to the default version standard deployment and these are tokens limit and then content filter click on deploy um, now other thing is that later we say delete so we can delete the whole resource and the deployment will delete automatically as as, as you see or we could delete in resource group but as i said i'm not going to delete it because there is no cost involved into this uh, so i'm not going to delete this for now because we're going to use that in future labs we are going to use these all the three one as well you can keep it you can delete it you can create them again uh, but we're going to use these playgrounds this is what i was talking about is whatever model you use and you have three uh three models now deployed and you can use depending on the uses that you have and we'll, we'll be using and doing more of these things in future but i just wanted to show it to you how does it look like now before i move forward there'll be video coming here but other thing what you should be doing in uh, basically uh on linkedin is that why you should be posting the content why whatever you learned in this lab make sure that you make notes and then share it in in your profile as an authority to build your uh, authorities i think it's gone wrong one you should be going and clicking on this which is linked in here and this is where you go and read out these first especially three and then we can review your feed uh, linkedin profile if you want also when you perform and complete a lab you mark this so it will tell you that it's complete completed similarly if you complete this lab you mark it here and it's now five percent if you go and the, because i've done the first one as well i'll mark it done and it's now probably uh whatever ten percent it was five percent and now ten percent like that so now go and go to this place here and then click on this deploying the model deploy them and again as i said you can keep them running or uh, leave them not running but leave them deployed or you can delete them if you want complete resource group del delete everything in that uh, so that's pretty much from this for this lab in the next lab we are going to go deeper and start using these playgrounds or uh, play with these in these playgrounds these where these models are deployed and we'll le leverage those uh, as well now if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask also one more thing which i wanted to mention you was that if you're not yet started make sure you go and look at this preparation i'll talk about this interview preparation if you're looking for a job change then come into this interview and job prep click here and then make sure you go through these and uh, if you are applying but not getting interview because this is what you should be focusing here or you need to come on those job prep clinics or you want your resume to be reviewed go through these re 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 resume reviews as well so that's pretty much just in case if you're looking for a job change otherwise go and perform this lab and let my team know or me know that you've completed it successfully and i'll see you in the next lab